the way I see it. 2012 is the year of R&B comebacks, by Daniel Dewar. Everywhere you look, there are signs that R&B, that mellow music form we all grew up loving, making love to or hurting over love, not unnoticed is in decline. At first glance, that statement would be true. But fortunately for the bright future of music, it is not. Personally I am a huge music lover. That said on most occasions I whip out that country Jennifer Nettles of Sugarland single, stay, that is more my alley. But maybe just maybe it would be nice to take out a 33 inch boys to men I will make love to you. The cut from my childhood. While rock, pop, hell even religious music have been getting massive budgets, R&B has been swimming on the shallow end. As they say in this business talent is 2% marketing 99%, R&B will have to stop pussyfooting around and weep out the massive budgets. We need to get back to real music. That is if you are not stuck in age 17 and Lil Wayne is your idea of music. Wayne despite the massive buzz has been tired a long time. Music is more in tune. More mellow. More heading you places, moving you and those who love you. While there are new cats like Ryan Leslie making waves on the scene, this year 2012 is the year of great R&B comebacks. Boys to Men the legendary 1990s group is back with new material and are currently on their 20 tour 2012 checklisting if it is on your hood. Others on the comeback trail are 112 lead singer Q Parker is on a solo tour. Superwoman star Karen White also has a comeback album and is touring again true to the statement legends never die. They just reincarnate. Also reincarnating are Monica and Brandy of the fame, Boy Is Mine, their new single It All Belongs To Me despite being underrated by mass media is steadily climbed in the popular charts. They are more mature, their voice has grown since they were in a song together, if memory serves me well Monica and Brandy were teenagers. I remember because I was a teen too. I think, if they both went back into the studio, separately, magic or rather miracle the type of water turns to wine would happen. In the meantime the likes of Charlie Wilson, the Isley brothers whom I consider R&B royalty, the king of pillow talk, Robert Kelly, and even the soulful Gladys Knight might be hitting not only the blue room, but also the tour bus. Mile after mile on the trailblazing concert after concert. Hell yeah. Don't be surprised to see Marvin Gaye on stage urging you to get it on thanks to technology. Tupac Hologram was a success. The Jackson 5 on tour is bringing Michael back and in the near future R&B will take its rightful place. I can't wait for that day Dean Lights. Wide open squares with millions of screaming panty throwing female fans in worship. R&B came back. This is a Daniel Dewar production.